Welcome back to Thursday's show with Fina Arouche, Stephen Gates and Elizabeth Sladen, star of uh, CBBC's uh, Sarah Jane Adventures. It's still to come this morning, uh, this cool morning. Does anyone else uh, watching today feel a little bit jealous of all that national pride that's been coming out of Chile at the moment? And why is it that I get the feeling it could never happen here? It makes me feel really sad. 027-173-5555 is the number uh, for your thoughts on that. But first, we're going to get to... We'll start the newspaper review with you, Elizabeth. What right, have you got well, for us? In the Daily Telegraph today, the headline is Middle class hit again with tax and tax raid on pensions. So the amount that people can pay into their pension pot every year and still receive tax breaks will be capped at less than a fifth of its current level. Cool, so does that mean for the government as well that they can't? <laughs> that as well? These because these will be your, say, these will be private pensions, whether where you can yeah, you can. Yeah. Accountants whatever. predict that the changes will hit more than five hundred thousand people, and um, the cut between thirty thousand and fifty thousand people currently save two hundred and fifty-five thousand a year in their scheme and still receive relief on the contributions at the rate of which that's they right you can tax. literally just squirrel cash away yeah. and not pay the tax on it and now it's going to be capped but the, and we'll save the treasury more than eight billion so saving again at saving our saving savings but the, i guess the key part here is it's middle class you keep hearing yes. almost every day middle class middle class middle class is going the to suffer from child benefit part of society yes it's probably worth thinking that working class and uh, non-working class are probably struggling as well in the uh, mm. in the current financial climate it's the, the super rich that seem to get away scot-free mm. people like philip green who of course doesn't have much of a business over here because it's all his wife's name over in monaco yeah. hmm. right. um anything else elizabeth what else have we got well in the oh gosh how do you monitor this in the daily mail at b and q shopping for bombing kit mohammed sadiq khan 30 was caught on cctv strolling through a branch of asda the day before the atrocities and other ctv footage at b and q shopping for bomb making equipment but there is no shelf that says bomb no, making uh, equipment. That's one so how do you monitor? For. There's no Acme shelf, well, there's no there. TNT. It's just sort of, it's... It sheds light on the, on the tragedy of it when you see the sort of the mundanity of, yes. of how it's gone, yes, how it's happened, absolutely. and you, and you see the pictures of the people who who died and who didn't die in, in the in the atrocity itself. It, it's just it just makes it all the more there's, tragic. A, a colleague was saying as well, and I, and I think she's right that there's something about the inquest where you get this sort of drip, drip, mm. drip of new information. It actually stops you from moving on, or I'm finding it, because it keeps bringing things back and bringing things back, so... And then a little headline will come in how Sadiq Khan, or one of them, the, he, he cancelled the day of the bombing That's right, yeah. and took his wife on the NHS yeah. to be monitored because she's... Biting the hand that feeds. It's um, just appalling. Okay. Anything else? So we, there's not a lot of happy news around not today. I know the Queen isn't all. much... Uh, oh, well, actually, I'm so today. sorry for the Queen. She's trying to be part of the... Um, cutting back on um, expenditure, but the the rap party for the um, the, rap the royal, well, the end of term party. Are they closing party. down the royals? <laughs> we're, getting, <laughs> we're getting rid of the monarchy. Oh, 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 I oh, liked the rap party. party. Given the current economic climate, it was thought that it was appropriate for the household to show restraint. So there is um, the no Christmas party. The Christmas party that has been cancelled. I would imagine maybe there are more. I think that's productive because we we, no. we always take the mick out of the Queen and their expenditure. Yes, but it's not and just for her. It's for I her know. Employees. I know. Yeah. But she can't win. She's no, fine. She can't. She's doing something. Well, and she's right. saying. In line of what's going on financially for other people, I'm not going to do this. I so can't respect being that. I can't, I can't, I can't respect it as well her. because lots of businesses are also cancelling yeah. Christmas this year. Or what do we call it? The white, sin the winter season, isn't it? Yes. Now? Mm. Well, yes. maybe I quite respect it. They okay. are not getting paid a great deal. Maybe She'll still knock up an deal. eggnog somewhere along the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else? So jog on. What else we got here? Busmen banned for being too fat. <gasps> well. They sit down all day, it's not really. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know what to say for this. It's, it's you know, up to them when they, they come up. What's this? So what is it? It's a, it's a bus company, is what, sack drivers for being too fat? Yes. Um, managers at Black Bull Transport say the men who weigh a combined 40 stone are too fat for their own welfare. And that is extra yeah. large, actually. Um, but but were they 40 stone before they took well, the job? <laughs> so maybe the people in charge. Isn't sacking them going to lead them to gain more weight? They're going to sit at home, they're going yeah, to yeah, eat, yeah, they're yeah, not well, going to be exercising, well, they're not going to get up, they're not going to go out. It's their own welfare, isn't it? Not yeah. 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 I don't think people should tell you how fat you or, can Or if be. there was a problem on the bus, how are they going to get out of the seat quickly and deal well, with it? Well, I think that's part of the issues, yeah. OK, and one last one from you. Ah, the eggs, the eggs. Well, this is a good story. 
Missing it. No yolk, eggs round. See, it wasn't just me um, that came up with that lousy yeah. pun. <laughs> God, look at this. It's twice the size. It's hundreds of times bigger than his head. It's <laughs> extraordinary. They're drawing any attention to that, aren't they? <laughs> this is a story that'll obviously run, isn't it? The egg <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> Discovery. <laughs> Chef James Church was getting cracking on the breakfast fry when he spotted the round free range, which probably makes a difference egg, a free range chicken, or the normal oval ones. I've cracked at least 100,000 eggs, but I've never seen one like this. I saved There's a man it from with too much time on his hands. He's worked out how many eggs he's cracked. <laughs> so, you, you know, at least 100,000. I'm looking at every single one of them. Yeah. Yeah. A guest is waiting for breakfast, so he rings the paper and says, I've got a round egg here. It is extraordinary, though, isn't it? Because I've never seen anything like it, really. Um, nicely done. Thank you. Yeah. What have you got, Stephen? OK, um, well, in The Telegraph, we've got a report that 50,000 mothers have been forced back to work. Um, rather than stay at home to look after their children. Now, this is... Um, a, a Middle class mums or just mums from all walks it of life? It doesn't really <laughs> seem to say, although it does say that... I mean, analysts apparently have been saying that um, women had no choice but to go back to work to pay the mortgage and cover the rising cost of food and bills. Everyone, you know, lots of people have mortgages, so who, who knows? It's actually... The, the story is actually a slightly different one. The story... The, the, the underlying story here is about the... Um, the reduction, there's an Child overall reduction cutting. in the number of... Uh, well, it's actually not that, it's, it's about the un unemployment rate. Mm. Um, and there's been an overall reduction in the number of unemployed adults um, in the last three months by 20,000, which is actually not that much over, over three months. Um, however, there's some debate about whether this is good or bad. Analysts are, are warning that um, recovery in the labour market is, market is faltering. But in the, the child benefit cut will effectively reward mothers who go to work rather than stay at home. Because yeah. staying at home, so. if your partner is earning the 47,000, or 41,000 is the threshold, yeah. then you don't get the child benefit. Uh, if you both go out and work and earn 40,500 pounds, combined family income of 80 odd, then you will get child benefit. Absolutely, still. for the breeders in us. Yes. And not you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, obviously, child benefits hasn't, haven't been cut yet, so this is 50,000 mothers already forced back to work, so things will presumably get more and more difficult for parents. I love this story. This is in the Daily Mirror. Statistics. I love statistics because they mean everything and they mean nothing at the same time. Yes. This is brilliant. This is um, how this is the uh, Office of National T Statistics has collated the data for uh, next week's United Nations World Statistics Day. This World is Statistics Day? Well, <laughs> of those over the years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite... I'm, I'm fascinated by them. Anyway, so, Mr and Mrs Average, if you look at the picture of Mr and Mrs Average, she, she ain't pretty, because she's a little bit <laughs> on the side. Um, but anyway, OK, what I found really interesting here is that... Uh, the average man is 38 years old, the average woman is 40 years old. Uh, obviously, the, the, um, uh, the uh, life expectancy of women is, is greater. But also, the, the big gap here Easier is the gap life, in earnings. Right. Excuse <laughs> me, don't don't get everybody, get everybody knows that's a fact. Don't get me started. Uh, well, also, well, it could be indicative that uh, blokes uh, drink 16 units of alcohol per week, whereas women drink 8 units. That's the pressure. Ooh. That's the pressure. <laughs> um, and, but All the, the big thing is, difference in earnings. Uh, men earn £28,000 um, per year full-time. Women only 22,000. Okay. Full time. It's a bit of a shocker. It's the sex one I liked. Hit 40 <laughs> and you hardly ever do it. That's right, it's a bit yeah. of a shocker, isn't it? Okay. Uh, now, from the Telegraph, there's a story about um, airports. Apparently, airports are allowed to serve children booze. What? Um, Sussex, police, Sussex police were frustrated because in an operation at Gatwick, they discovered a number of bars that had sold alcohol to children. What's interesting about this is that airports are a little bubble in the world. You know, they're a tax-free zone. There's, they're, they're almost sort of stateless, airside. in a way. When you're airside, you're, yeah. all, you're in... You're yeah. not under British law, or you're I, under I British law. I can't remember sorts, how it works. Or? Is it international law? Or are you somewhere in the middle of the ocean? It's, but there, you know, there's no duty. Drunk to remember. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other thing. All those know? kids buy me drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, granddad, do you want another? <laughs> <laughs> All right, son. What do you mean that they can sell? They, they are allowed to. Yeah, you can, um, a child can order a drink because there's no law to... to it's a loophole. Yeah, bars on airside are not covered by the Licensing Act and don't need okay. a premises licence. Now we've told everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah quick! Um, no, OK, so this is the last one. Uh, crazy story, this. Um, Colin Furs, this chap in the picture with a crazy hat, uh, shoots along at 69 <laughs> miles per hour on the world's fastest <laughs> mobility scooter. <laughs> Colin is a plumber. He spent three months converting the machine, uh, which normally goes at eight miles an hour, <laughs> now 69 miles an hour, uh, because he's added a 125cc motorbike engine. Go if you look on. at the picture, there's a you can see the exhaust. Either he's, yes. he's done a terrible fart, um, or he's, these are exhaust fumes <laughs> coming out from behind his scooter. That sounds um, absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Nicely done, Stefan. Thank you, Fina. In the sun today, um, we have Lloyd's axing 400. 
4,500 jobs. Mm. Um, Almost three thousand. Handing them to foreign. Yes, foreign. almost three thousand of which are in Brit Britain, which um, seems seems really harsh because I thought that we'd put a lot of money into the banks to stop things yes. like this happening. So I'm saying, where did the money go? Yeah. Where did the money go? Yeah. Where did it go? So people are still ending up without jobs. Yeah. Even and though we bailed a bank that we bailed, bailed out without mortgages, without jobs, even though they've been bailed out, that doesn't seem right to me. Moving swiftly on before I get irate. <laughs> um, in the Telegraph, um, a US soldier faces action over the death of the kidnap worker. A uh, kidnap worker died on Friday in after Norgrove, two yeah. weeks. Um, basically, he, get, he went in under order to, with the US troops to help uh, get the lady out. Yeah. And um, they, they say here a fragmentation Device. He didn't mention grenade. grenade that he yeah. never mentioned that he used a fragmentation device. But the question is, it's very sensitive whether or not we should be prosecuting him. Yeah. yeah I'm sure it, you know, it's difficult to believe that he would have done it deliberately. Well, I don't think so, he went in there uh, and went, while I'm no, in here. Exactly. You know what I mean? I think it's. Um, it's worth stressing, unlike the headline, the actual main story says may face action, and mm -hmm. may is a big word. It's may is the, a big the word. The craziness of war and the, the mm -hmm. tragedy of war. The madness of war, quite. Um, in the Telegraph also, uh, apparently, the headline says, after a nine-month argument, mothers pick newborn's name. Of course we do. We're carrying it. Is this an argument with uh, the other yeah, half with, of the with fella? with the spouse, of course. Of course we do. I picked my child's name as soon as I knew he was there. It was like, he's going to be called pal. What's woman. the nine-month oh, nine okay. argument is the pregnancy? Yeah, so you argue and argue and argue. Yeah, argue, argue and argue and argue backwards no. and forwards. But it apparently gets very heated and a lot of couples come to... <laughs> a friend of mine, Peter Willis, he had a baby, how many weeks now? Two weeks ago, I think. He still hasn't got a name. That's OK. Yeah. You'll get one. Boy. Boy child. Boy yeah. child. I didn't have a name for six weeks. I think so. Did you think it was really? Yeah. And then <laughs> Stefan, I said rubbish. <laughs> they waited until 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 they waited for using this thank you sign. Apparently, the children say thank you to him when he crosses them again across the road, and obviously the, the motorists are behind the glass. So he made a lovely little sign show, extending the courtesy back to the motorists, oh. and he oh. is not allowed to use it. Health and safety. Oh. I mean, that's, that sign safety. could be dangerous. Illegal distraction. Illegal so. distraction. Illegal distraction. <laughs> what we need to do, right, is clear out the people who've done GBH and stick, stick him in the in a prison <laughs> cell. Yeah, that's right. Beat the bejesus out of him with with, that's with a the terrible sign. Thing to with do. the sign. Right? Quite. So you, you volunteer for to be a lollipop, maybe you get like one pound a day expenses or something, and, and then I you do I'd something like, like that, such an affront to motorists. We and love lollipops. I'd, like I'd like to be a lollipop lady. I'd like lots of blush and big hair, and I'd like to be a lollipop lady in my in my later years. I'm on my way there now. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, after the break, um, oh, it's an interesting, uh, unusual phone in for us. I'm asking you if you envy all the national pride that's uh, oozing out of Chile at the moment. I um, really want to know what it would take to happen here. A lurch to the left, a lurch to the right, and people disappearing in the middle of the night. A revolution! Decent weather, pan pipes. What is it that Chile has that we don't? Uh, 027 173 That's the number of your thoughts. What's Chile got that we ain't? You tell me in three. What did President Panera say when asked how much the rescue operation had cost? Who cares? It's coming out of their wages. A lot, but a lot less than your bankers getting bonuses, or many millions, but the cost is not important.